Okay, so in this example, um, we're given two points, J and K. Um, and we want to find point M that partitions JK into a ratio of 1 to 3. So the first thing we're going to want to do is plot the points. All right, so let's go ahead and just take a visual of this. Um, we have negative, negative 4, 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then K is going to be at 8, negative 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, negative 1. Okay, and we want to find the point P that is going to partition this into a ratio of 1 to 3. That means 1 part to 3 parts. That's what we're comparing. We're going to compare 1 part to 3 parts, meaning there is a total of 4 parts. Okay, so this is a ratio of part to part. And when you're partitioning, it's very important to determine are you given a ratio that's part to part or part to whole. And a lot of times that will just be based on the notation that you're given. In this case, when they just say this ratio of 1 to 3, that's going to be a part to part ratio. Um, however, this is really important for us to understand my ratio k that we're going to use is always part to whole. So that's going to be 1 over 4. All right, we're breaking, we're going to compare it to one part to three parts. That means there's a total of four parts. So the ratio that we're going to use is going to be 1 to 4. Now for partitioning, if we want to find m, you know, there's four parts. Let's just kind of estimate here just for fun. Looks like m should be right around there, right? You're going to compare it to one part to three parts, right? You see it? One part, three parts, okay? Which means there's a total of four parts. All right, so when we want to find the partition points, we need to do this a horizontally and vertically, or vertically and horizontally. So we want to break it one to four vertically and one to four horizontally. And if you remember, the formula that we've been given that we've worked on is going to be x1 plus k times x2 minus x1 plus, oops, sorry, not plus, comma, k times y2 minus y1 plus y1. Okay, This is going to be your coordinate point. This is going to represent my partition point for xp and yp. Those are going to be the x and y coordinates of my partition point. So what we're really doing here is we're taking the ratio and we're multiplying it by the distance of my horizontal distance. And then what we're doing is we're including this x1, which is telling you how far this is away horizontally from the origin. Because if you just multiply k times your distance, that's going to give it to you from the origin. So we need to include where we're moving from from the original x coordinate. All right, so now it's just going to be a plug and chug. My k here, let's call this x1, y1, x2, y2. All right, so I have a negative 4 plus 1 fourth. x2, which is 8, minus x1, which is a negative 4. Notice my use of parentheses, comma, a 1 fourth times y2, negative 1, minus 11, and then plus y1, plus 11. All right, so we have negative 4, plus 8 minus uh, 4 is going to be 12. 12, so I'll just, we have plenty of time, so 1 fourth times 12, comma, um, negative 1 minus 12 is going to be a negative 12, plus 11. Okay, 4 divides into 12 three times, so that's going to be plus 3. 4 divides into negative 12, negative 3 times, and that's plus 11. OK, so negative 3 plus 3 is going to be a 0. And then negative 3 plus 11 is going to be a 8. So it looks like this coordinate's at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which is not too bad, right? I mean, I was pretty not too far off, right? I mean, of course, my scaling's not going to be perfect. But you guys can see I was pretty close, OK? So that's basically it. Make sure you identify your k as a part to whole. Make sure you have the formula, make sure you have your two points, and that's all you need. Cheers.